Hi, my name is En Hao, and today I will present our interactive method for visual exploration and examination of generative adversarial networks, or GANs for short. Recently, GANs have shown promise as creativity support tool and have been used to create all kinds of interesting images. Here, I just want to quickly introduce GANs before we move on. Training a GAN involves two networks, a generator and a discriminator. The generator takes in a latent vector Z and outputs the corresponding image. During training, the generator tries to fool the discriminator, while the discriminator is trained to distinguish between generated images and real images until it can no longer tell the difference. In this paper, we are interested in assessing the quality of generated outputs. For example, we want to know if it can generate photorealistic images. However, evaluating GANs is challenging, and the most common way to evaluate GAN models is still using tedious visual examination of non-interactive image galleries. So in our work, we present GAN Explorer, an interactive tool uh, for GAN exploration that allows the user to assess capabilities and the limitations of a GAN by browsing different images that the GAN can generate. We then use the output of GAN Explorer to sample even more photorealistic images from the GAN, which we then organize into galleries for, for further visual examination. Due to the time constraints, I would like to direct you to our Kai video for more details about our interface. Here, I will focus on how we evaluated our interface and our methods in three empirical user studies. In the first study, we showed that our interface enables uh, users to explore again. In the first study, we recruited 367 participants on Amazon Mechanical Turk and asked them to use our interface to select photorealistic images generated using an existing GAN model called BigGAN. Participants selected images from at least one of 10 big gun categories, for example, Pancho, Cup, Butterfly. We measured how participants use our prototype to explore the game. The results of our first user study showed that participants were able to select over 10,000 photorealistic images by interacting with different tools in our interface. In study two, we validated that the images participants selected in study one were actually photorealistic. We conducted another Amazon AmTurk study with 1,622 participants and asked them to select only photorealistic images from an image gallery consisting of randomly sampled images from study one. The participants used a custom labeling tool that we developed for the study. Our results suggest that our interface could support exploration and selection of photorealistic images from GANs. However, we also noted that participants often disagreed on what makes a GAN generated image photorealistic. So we visually examined images that the majority of participants labeled as photorealistic and used them in our next study, where we wanted to compare photorealistic images that participants selected using our tool against the image galleries generated using existing methods. However, cross-sourcing photorealistic images from a GAN is not scalable. Instead, we use a Markov chain Monte Carlo method to sample and generate 25,000 images from the posterior probability distribution of latent vector Z given photorealistic images participants selected in study one. We then compared our method with the baseline sampling methods that big GAN authors used to evaluate their model, where they sampled a latent vector Z from a truncated normal distribution with four arbitrarily selected thresholds. In study three, we recruited another 1,000 participants and asked them to select photorealistic images that occur only once in an image gallery using the same tool as in study two. Only this time, we ask them to select images from galleries generated using our method and the baseline at four thresholds. We primarily measure the number of photorealistic images per method, but we also consider the effects of category. Using visual examination, we found that our method consistently uh, sampled more diverse galleries of photorealistic images, which you can see on the left compared to the baselines on the right. We then ran the align rank transform to analyze the data and perform a pairwise contrast test. Our test found a significant main effect of methods on the number of selected images, and our pairwise test found a difference between our method and at least one baseline. Not surprisingly, our test could not find a significant effect of category. In conclusion, we showed that GAN Explorer enables principled qualitative GAN exploration via interactive visual examination. We also showed that our sampling method enables quick creation of many diverse photorealistic image galleries to support qualitative evaluation of GANs. For future work, we plan to expand the number of GAN exploration tools in our interface. We will apply our method to other GAN models, including models that generate outputs other than images. Our work will inform the design of a comprehensive interactive GAN diagnostic tool. To demo GAN Explorer, please follow the link on this slide. Thank you very much for your attention.